Hello everyone, Marco here. Today we're starting a new video series on Veritasium's Vader platform. We'll be going through the new user guide piece by piece and providing an overview of the functionality and how to set up the Vader and use the various functions on the platform. So uh, what we're going to do is review in today's video uh, provide an overview of the platform. We'll, we'll do a drive-by of the high-level functionality uh, and kind of just explain, give people a, a foundation. Uh, and then in upcoming videos, we'll show how to set up the Vader. Uh, one method is MetaMask uh, using your desktop computer. Uh, we'll also demonstrate Trust Wallet on a mobile device and there are other methods to get uh, connected up to the Vader as well. We'll, we'll possibly review those in future videos. Uh, and then once we do the setup, which will be required to interact with the platform, uh, then we'll do a video each on exposure and that's how to buy, take delivery or sell digital assets through the Vader. And uh, another one, VE rent, that will cover the, the economic rent process of renting Vary out as a rentee or borrowing Vary, an uh, economic rent format, to open a, an exposure. Following that, we'll review the VE assets platform. That is the digital assets backed tokens. VE Gold, VE Silver, etc. will show how to buy, redeem, and sell uh, those assets. That's an exciting one. We'll get to that. And then we'll cover VE Research and VE Lending to close out the series. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first, I want to get to a browser and I will go to Veritasium's home page and on the home page there are two links that you'll want to uh, be aware of here first one is to actually access the Vader that's the first link and then the tutorial which is uh, essentially uh, an online version of these video tutorials so let's go ahead and access the Vader by clicking here and you'll see uh, the, the portfolio page, the main page when you come in. Now for new users who aren't connected yet, uh, what you will see, let me change my MetaMask account to one that's not connected. And what you'll see is a getting Get Started button up here. And this is the button that will lead you through the process of getting on the platform, uh, completing your your KYC verification, uh, connecting up, etc. So when you log in, it will first show you the uh, account if you've got one connected into MetaMask. Uh, hit next on there, and what it's going to say is. Uh, it wants you to select, well first it wants you to review the privacy policy. So make sure you read through that and understand it and agree to it. And then uh, you're going to want to pick, are you going to KYC, which stands for Know Your Customer. Uh, it's a requirement of many financial institutions, including Veritasium. Uh, so the choices are as an individual or as an entity and if we come in I'm an individual so I would select this and what what the uh, Vader is going to do is lead you through the process of validating your or uh, verifying uh, your MetaMask account so KYC is performed on a specific Ethereum account. Start those account numbers start with 0x. And so it's going to 
lead you through the process of putting in your personal data and then you'll need to upload proof of residence of where you live such as a utility bill and then proof of identity such as a passport or a driver's license or a uh, state identity card something like that once you go through this process and it is for the vast majority of people it will be automated uh, so it will be fairly quick to get through the process. Once you get through, um, okay, it's giving me this because it's, it's saying uh, even without KYC, I can come into the platform and look at VE Research uh, and a couple of the other functions here. So I'm going to go ahead and switch my account via MetaMask to an account that's already been KYC approved for the platform. And so when we open that up, you'll see that, that it changed from get started to it gave you some additional functionality up here. And so what this is, uh, let, me, let me start with the top left corner. This is the three bar menu next to the Vader here. Under, before I get to that, underneath is the version number, of the current version of the beta. So you'll see we're on 9.20190215, or in other words, the February 15th of this year release. The, the Veritasia development team is very prolific, and they release usually multiple releases per week, at least one per week, but many times multiple releases. So the functionality on the platform is always expanding and growing. Uh, so if you click on the three bars here, it slides out this left-hand menu. And you can see, starting from top to bottom here, uh, your currency choice, your default currency. I'll go through that in a bit. Uh, and the various pages of functionality within the Vader. The, the main portfolio page, which is just the Vader itself, VE Rent. VE Exposure, VE Assets, VE Research, and VE Land. Those are the various modules that you can go to. Uh, as you get KYC'd, you will gain access to some or all of these, uh, depending on your level of KYC and your jurisdiction. So not everyone will be able to interact with all parts of the, of the platform due to regulatory constraints. So now if we shift down to the bottom, the very bottom link here is help. And what you'll see here is basically this tutorial uh, online version. And so uh, you can come through here and go to each section and just reference the specific section that you're interested in. Next one above that is send feedback. Uh, that's a more in-depth help functionality you can first of all search articles on here for uh, that searches the Veritasium knowledge base through the, the uh, help desk and will uh, display any articles that are in there relevant to your search if you don't find what you're looking for or you can click right here and browse through the, the knowledge base you can click send feedback put in your email address and the subject and then put in text here and format it, whatever. Uh, it, your Ethereum address is automatically pre-populated in here. And you can attach files such as screenshots, etc. Then click Send Feedback. That will send into the Veritasium support team. And they'll respond to you from there. Then the final bit of functionality uh, down at the bottom here is the wallet. Let's go ahead and select that. The wallet contains the list of Veritasium assets enabled on the platform, along with your current balance, if any, and the value in your default currency. I'll show you how to change that default currency in a minute. So these are the current assets that are enabled on the platform. You'll see a mix of digital assets, aka cryptocurrency, uh, Veritasium and Ethereum. You'll also see uh, Veritasium's asset-backed tokens here, VE assets, 
silver, gold, palladium, etc., in various quantities, and then the U.S. dollar. This list of assets will continually grow as new assets are tokenized and fiat currencies added to the platform. So we'll soon see other fiat currencies on here in addition to the U.S. dollar, uh, as well as in the future, near future and beyond, additional assets, whether they be VE oil, VE real estate, etc. All will show up here. You can click on an asset to get more information about it. I'll show you that in a second. First, I want to show you or, or make note of these two features up here. Uh, withdrawals. So uh, if you do any withdrawals on the platform, you can simply click that. And this will be a, a list, a history of your withdrawal orders, including the fee you paid, uh, the date, the status of it, etc. I haven't done any withdrawals yet, so you see I have no data to display. Go back to the menu or to the main screen here, main wallet screen. The other one that's important and one that you will need to go through first is enable tokens. You can click that and that pops up a list of these assets in the, in the wallet, uh, potential assets. And before you can use them, you're going to need to enable them. So what this list shows is a list of the assets and underneath the quantity as well as the value in your default currency. Uh, and then off to the right, the status, whether it be enabled, which this one is. It's highlighted in orange and slid to the right or not enabled, such as my palladium asset here. Uh, it slid to the left and, gray, left and grayed out. So to enable that token, you simply click it or slide it to the right and then hit update. And if you're on your desktop, it will pop up a MetaMask notification. You can confirm that notification. You'll see a transaction created and you click the little pop out. It will take you on over to Etherscan where you can watch the, the progress of that transaction if you desire. You'll see it already confirmed. So I'll go ahead and close that. Come back here. You'll see a notice token settings updated. And so if we go back into the enable screen, you'll see that indeed the Palladium token has been enabled. Okay. So at this point, um, We've covered the, the wallet. We've covered some basic functionality. Uh, we, we've reviewed what, uh, what parts of the application that you'll be able to access. And in each of the upcoming videos, we'll go through in a little more detail what each of these functionalities are and how to do, how to perform those functionalities. So, uh, one last thing then before we leave here, while we are in the wallet, what I want to show you here is the uh, send and receive functionality. So if you want to send out any of these assets, process is similar for all the digital assets here. You simply put in the amount. So say uh, I want to send out one of these VE silvers. It will give you the value in your default currency and then you would simply paste in the address the ethereum address starting with 0x for the, the recipient here uh, right here you'll see the value of I've got 1.99 VE silvers in my account VE silver one gram that's the Z, or one ounce that's the Z1 Locked is if you've got some perhaps loaned out or used as a as collateral uh, in a in a particular deal that will show us locked here. That would be locked by the smart contract, and then the value in your default currency over here. You can also receive tokens quite easy. You can either click the small squares here and copy that address. Uh, to the person or to the sending site or you can scan it directly 
with this code. And then the other assets in here, the fiat currency assets, you'll see a deposit and withdraw. Deposits not quite available yet. Uh, Veritasium, Veritasium team's working on that. That'll, that'll be coming soon. If you do want to withdraw, you can withdraw directly to your bank via wire transfer. Uh, it's going to ask you to, again, authenticate that this is your account. So if you're on your desktop, it'll pop a met MetaMask notification that you can sign, or if you're in trust or some other uh, environment, just follow the appropriate uh, prompts there. You'll see that now uh, it has confirmed that I'm the owner of that Ethereum account, and you can go ahead and fill in your values here that would be fed into the wire transfer. Wire transfers are $30 uh, back out to your bank account. Okay, so that's it. That's that's VE assets. Very simple to manage and uh, be exciting to get to the videos and show more in-depth functionality there, buying, selling, etc. So uh, one last uh, point here uh, for changing your default currencies, simply select my currency. You can see US dollars here. It's got other fiat currencies, the Euro, Great British Pound, Chinese Yuan, Japanese Yen, etc or digital currencies, uh, cryptos, Ethereum, and Bitcoin. You can select those and it will uh, value everything in that, uh, in that currency, that denominator on the platform. Okay, that's it, folks, for the overview. I uh, look forward to getting into the upcoming videos. Next, we'll cover setup, whether it's the Trust Wallet, um, or MetaMask, the, the setup I'm using on this video. Okay, thanks much everyone. Take care, and we will see y'all soon. Bye-bye.